Hello, good morning. It's like 8.30 on a Saturday. Got my top bun in because I'm going to be changing my oil and I wanted to show you guys how to do it because you can save a shit ton of money. Um, I got quoted $110 to do an oil change at Valvoline for full synthetic. Um, yeah, let's go. You got your oil filter wrench, your oil filter, full synthetic. Mine takes 5W30, socket wrench, wrench, things, just in case. And can't forget your oil pan. I got this one for like $4 at Harbor Freight. All right, so first you're gonna locate your oil drain plug, which is right here. Um, it's at the bottom of your oil pan, which looks kind of like that, probably smaller on other cars. Not the transmission. This is the transmission you can tell because it has no plug. Um, so you don't want to remove that. That will drain your transmission fluid. This is the oil plug. Then you find a socket that fits, or you can just use a wrench um, if you have enough strength and position your oil pan underneath that so that it will fall into there. I got it started off camera, but then you are gonna unscrew that Ooh, yeah. maybe wear gloves <laughs> and that's gonna just drain and fill up your pan look at that let that drip for a bit and you're also gonna want to clean up the area around this hole so that your plug threads as smoothly as possible. While I was letting that drain, I went and cleaned up my oil plug. It's much nicer. After that's done, you're going to want to find your oil filter and move your pan underneath that. Um, so I've got my oil pan positioned under my filter, which is right there. And I'm going to take my filter wrench and loosen that up and take it off. Alright, we're getting that turning. And once you get it loose with your wrench and go in there and it by hand. Stick that out and on my filter pan I have a stand for that. Let that drain. Alright, you're gonna take your new filter it's a bit bigger than the last one because I upgraded to the XL. And then take some of the oil. I took the top off and flipped it upside down, or the um, seal off and flipped it upside down. Take some of that oil and get that on your seal, on your gasket, O-ring, whatever you want to call it not a professional mechanic, so I don't always use the proper terminology, but get that nice and lubed up. Alrighty, I got that new one placed in there. Just gonna tighten it up by hand. And then once it's tight, you kind of just <clears throat> Get it in there. You don't want to use a wrench and tighten it too much because it'll dent your oil filter and I've seen a lot of people online have that problem. They think you need to really, really, really tighten it, but it just needs to be tight enough where it's not going to leak. Um, yeah, and you saw how easy it was for me to take off the old one and I had gotten that other oil change done at a place because um, I got a group on, so I saved myself the time. But yeah, don't tighten it too much. 
gotta love old cars, right? Nice and black. My new oil filter's on and my drain plug is back in. I'm gonna go into the engine, pop open the hood, and fill my oil up. Mine takes six quarts, so I'm gonna put a full five quart thing in there and then add another quart from my other five quart jug that I got. Let's go. Take this off. I have a strange. So my other funnel obviously was not the right funnel for this positioning, uh, silly me. So I went into the recycling can over there, found this and made a makeshift funnel. So yeah, you know, gotta work with what you got. I measured out an extra quart from my other jug of oil. All right, it's 9.30, that took me about an hour. I'm just gonna clean up some of the oil that I spilled. And to clean up the oil, I use this Home Depot, like six bucks in the rags. And that's how I changed the oil on my 1985 Ford E250 XL, the 5.8 liter, eight cylinder OHV Windsor engine. And yeah, if you want any more, tips on old fan maintenance, let me know.